That's true. They well, I, I think there's another weakness. There's another weakness, uh, which is it doesn't have a webcam, and it would be perfect for Skype calls or right. uh, iChat, which is Apple's uh, a video chatting service. And it's just uh, a shame it doesn't have. No, a why webcam. doesn't it have flash, and why doesn't it have a webcam? Well, well, I, I, well why it doesn't have flash has to do with, uh, I think, some some business issues that have long existed between Apple and Adobe, uh, Adobe being the company that makes Flash. But I, I want to point out something that I know that uh, both David and, and Mike also are aware of, which is that there's a kind of um, a backlash against Flash among some, some, not all of the tech companies, but some important ones, Google, Mozilla, and Apple, are all supporting a new version of HTML, which is the basic language the web is written in, that can just play videos without a Flash plugin. Now, Flash is used, as Mike pointed out, for games and other things more than just videos. But the iPod Touch, let's take that for a minute, which most people, I think, understand is like an iPhone, but it doesn't use a cell phone uh, 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 service. The iPod Touch is sold like hotcakes. It's sold amazingly. And it has thousands of games. It's used hugely for games. So it's clear that people can make games for the iPad without Flash, because the iPod Touch doesn't have Flash either. And um, it, it just doesn't seem to have been an obstacle. And with this new HTML version that doesn't require Flash coming along slowly, uh, I think Apple's probably gambling that uh, they'll at least be in as good a position as they were with the Touch. And eventually, over the next 18 months or whatever, this HTML thing will, will provide a challenge. Yeah, I think, I think we're a good two years away from seeing sites like Hulu be available without Flash. Uh, so we have that sort of interim period where you're going to be stuck with iTunes and, and YouTube, because YouTube has a, an application for the iPhone. YouTube went and redid their videos uh, in uh, a different format that the iPhone and the iPod Touch could understand. And even on their own Android phones, which don't run Flash, uh, you use an app and you go to YouTube and you do it. And there's no reason that if Hulu wanted to do it, if this device caught on, they could, they could do their videos in something other than Flash and be smart enough to say, oh, here's an iPad coming in. We'll serve it to them, this, this woman uh, who has the iPad, in a different format. Consumers don't care about formats, they just want to see the video. What could make this, David, a game changer? If people begin writing applications for the device that are irresistible in and of themselves, I think this will be a more viral gadget than most because it's so large mm -hmm. that if you're sitting next to someone, it's going to market itself. I do think, as Michael points out, at a certain point, it's going to have to help you roam freely across an ungated web and look at any kind of content you want in, 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 in brilliant, beautiful uh, color. People don't want to have, it's like having a really great car and a tiny little road to go on. You don't want the closed loop. You want this thing to be more of something that allow you to, you to roam because as a visual interface, with, with the web or with media companies, it just really can't be beat. Will magazines appear here? Absolutely. Char Terrib Charlie, authors what? can do videos right in their books. You it, know. Was, it was a terrible day for Amazon and a terrible day for Kindle. I mean, Mr. Jobs did say we stand on the shoulders of well, Amazon and yes. was very professionally gracious about that. But he left the picture of the Kindle up there for like two minutes and it it looked like something Mennonites made 150 years ago. It was not a. It it, it was just to emphasize that how, uh, uh, how how old the model that was. And I do think that it, that if content begins to, you know, you can expand it with your fingers. You can drill into it. You can make pictures. You know, Sports Illustrated had a beautiful application where you're looking at a really great picture. You touch it, and the guy starts to run, and the game continues. That is sort of game changing for media companies. If they can figure out how to make a cash flow, they can get a relationship with the consumer. Their stuff looks great on the device.